Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Woodcraft CZ, AKA Paul. In this video, we're gonna go through the process I took and the steps I took to make this jig. Now, what is this jig? It's really simple. It's for when I'm cutting dovetails and it basically aligns the tails on top to the pins I want to cut on the bottom so that they are level, so to speak, or flush together. So when you mark out the pins, there's no discrepancies in movement and the sides of the stock you're cutting are flush with each other. It's really simple. A lot of people don't use this and it's not needed, but it's a nice quality of life to have, especially if you're lacking certain clamping situations where you clamp the two pieces together and then, but all in all, you're probably watching this video because you know what this is and you're either just killing some time and board or you wanna see the steps taken to make this. This particular jig, I took inspiration, well, pretty much copied Katz Moses' uh, jig that he's he's done. He sells it on his website, so shout out to Katz for, uh, for that. You can buy it there if you want to, if you don't want to make the jig and you just want to watch the video or whatever. It is a simple jig. It's a very effective jig. So enjoy the video, guys. Okay, so I start off by cutting a piece of plywood to the width I want the jig. You can do this at whatever size you feel fit. Now I'm just marking the halfway point so I can take it to the mitre station and cut it in two. Now that it's cut in two, I'm gonna take it over to my Shaper Origin workstation where I'm gonna introduce some box joints to the edges. You don't have to use the Shaper, you can use your table saw or your router table or whatever means you feel is the right way to do it for yourself. It's just really a case of getting those box joints. For me, the Shaper Origin just made light work of it. It has a preset setting just for box joints and it makes it super simple. I didn't think box joints could become any simpler. Now that that's done, I'm taking it over for the glue up. I'm using these angle clamps that I got from IGM, which is a local hardware store to me. They really are handy actually. For the glue, I'm just using Type 1 3. The most crucial part to this is getting the two pieces at 90 degrees. These angles from my gym will help and I'm gonna double check that with an angle finder too. Now that I'm putting on the clamps, at first I put the clasps at the far end of each clamp, but that didn't put enough pressure on the exact joint. So I bring the clamps in closer so if you wonder why I'm readjusting the clasps, that's why I wanted more pressure at the joint. This is where I'm noticing that I need more pressure on the joint. 
the good thing about these clamps is pretty easy to readjust. Okay, so now that's done, it's pretty good. I've got to check for square now. Just using the angle finder, you can see 90 degrees. Very happy with that. Okay, so now time to make the sides of the jig. I'm using a router bit and just channeling in the edge. So this edge will sit on the side, hopefully flush, and provide a positive stop to the stock that I want to cut the dovetails into. I'm doing two pieces, one for the tail side and one for the pin side. So now that's done, we've got to affix them to the jig itself. First of all, I've got to stop being clumsy. Now to do this, I'm going to use a little trick because I can't use clamps. I don't want to skew the 90 degree angle so it sits coplanar to the piece. I'm going to use wood glue and I'm going to use super glue to affix it immediately by spraying activator. You'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to do three dabs of wood glue and in between those dabs, I'm going to put dabs of super glue. This will attach the ridges without having to use clamps and make sure they don't slide off or fall out of placement. So just making sure the ridges are sitting at 90 degrees. Now to do the final ridge. Same process, three dabs of wood glue, two dabs of super glue, bit of activator and away we go. Now just mopping up any excess wood glue that spilled over. Now just a final check to make sure everything is square. And there you have it. A dovetail alignment jig. Super simple, super effective. No reason for you not to do it. Obviously, unless you're great at doing dovetails. And here I'm just making sure it runs flush. Looks great to me. And that's what you want. You want the sides to be at the same point every time you mark the tails to the pins. All square, all good. Well, you made it through to the end. Thanks for watching the video. I plan to make more videos on jigs and tool reviews. If you've liked what you've watched so far or learned something, please consider giving the video a like and even consider subscribing. I'm trying to get my subscriber count to a thousand and beyond. I'm not far from there. I'm 800 and something at this point. So every little helps. And until the next video, guys, take it easy and happy woodworking.